This is coming through the side entrance of the Field Museum. We're greeted by bison. This is Nathan's first time at the Field Museum. Hi, Nathan. You like the one with the long antenna? So here we go to see some mummies. Skinny child. There's two kids. Two children in there. Why? When you enter, you're actually entering through the ground floor, so now we're going to go up to the main floor. We also have penny press machines. These are the designs. 51 cents. Awesome that they have here. If you need your phone charged, you can actually get a charger here. Doesn't say the price. We are in the Africa area of the Field Museum. Okay, Nathan, it says getting water is hard. Let's see, can you fill it up? Keep going. Is it hard work? You're not there yet. Keep going, keep going. Is that it? Oh, oh, that's it. You did it. Tired? Yeah. Was it hard? <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> Look at that's what it looks like behind you. That would go in the in the bottom and you'd have to pull it up to get water. What's in there? Whoa, what is it? I dare you to go see. Oh, this is the slavery part. Huh? This is the slavery part. Oh. For several days, I did not eat, but was a fast and long. This morning, if she gave me from the thing was gone, then I could think one of the five days, and how I could not feel I wish they had the sound in here a little bit lower because I can't hear her story. But she's talking about how she was taken from her family into slavery. 
and I can't understand what she's saying because of the noise is being so loud. Disgusting. Well, this is just a hard subject to talk about and to teach our children about, but it's a good thing to teach them about so history does not repeat itself. distance markings on the floor also with errors. Oh my goodness. I know he would bite my face off in real life but I just want to hug him. How cute. You're beautiful, buddy. Oh, look at how little seahorses are. A real one. Oh, wow. Look at the snow crab. Look at the stork skeleton. An otter? Oh, it's an otter. Look at the teeth on that otter. I love tortoises, turtles, pretty much everything. Um, except snakes. Wow. Look at how big that sea turtle is. Loggerhead turtle. Wow. Look at those tiny little mice. Oh look, the mouse and the lion. I wonder if he's got a thorn in his foot. Look how big these fish are. Well, they have any ants in here. Yeah. There was one in there. So basically, everything in this part of the exhibit is all animals. Um, so we're not gonna show everything because we want you to come out and see it yourself. I will show you this giant thing though. Wow, they actually moved her. She used to be upstairs. Nathan, go stand next to it. See how big you are next to that snake. You can like wrap up right in her like a pillow. Act like you're scared. <laughs> Nathan, should we take him home? He's so cute. They're probably around extinction, really endangered. Looks hurt. It went, it went extinct in the early 90s. You want to see a real alive Mexican Grey Wolf. Go visit Brookfield Zoo. That is literally how I look as soon as I step on a Lego. I'm like, ow! Yeah, there's no one behind us. Just a few people well, further, further back. And we got here when they opened at 9. We had reservations. And it's really not that crowded. So I'm Pumbaa's family. Hey, Fee. Look at When he was a young warthog. Oh, look at that one. Yep. There.
Cheers galore. One of my sons is enjoying this because he's a huge fan of birds and he loves seeing them up close, find out little facts about them. So he's really enjoying himself in this area. Okay. Oh. Cockatoo. Okay. This is my son's dream bird. A dodo. Oh, a skeleton of the hummingbird. All the hummingbirds. That's sad. No! Killed a rabbit. No! Or a bunny. To be 10 feet tall. That is mind blowing. Can you imagine coming up across that?
show you where they find it too. This was something they gave her. Wow. Is this your favorite part of the museum? Yes. Nathan loves breaking up in geodes. So Wow, look at that tiny little green one, he said, right there. Let me see if I can get you closer. Right there. Is that your favorite? Yes. You like emerald? Yes. Okay, it's like emerald. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The mosquito is in, in uh, Jurassic That's Park. That's Is it? Is it? If you Nathan, the floor is lava. I want that sign. that he wants and he picked the allosaurus okay now push your coins in push it in far go 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 keep going you gotta go until your coin comes out you need help with data oh there it is let's see it Cool. All the way. Okay, now crank it until it comes out. Keep going. Cool. Showing you a little bit of the crowd level. That's the that's considered the main floor, but technically you're on the second floor because there is a ground level. Wow, we turned the corner and there it is. Nathan, let's see how tall you are to it. Holy cow. You look like the little baby. Like, I still have to go all the way back just to get you all the way in the shot. Cool. Let's go.
Welcome to Jurassic Park. There are way more people here. I'm trying to look at dinosaurs. A bunch of people. And no one's social distancing. Her teeth that they found. This is her real skull, Nathan. There's Sue, everybody. These were found with Sue. One more look at Sue right before we walk out. I cannot even imagine coming face to face with a 10 foot sloth. There's always a reason. I wonder if they're still slow. noon. We are actually going home. We're going to head to the store first. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and 